My daughter Mia is many things. Smart is right at the top of the list. She's smarter than I am, for sure. She's always been able to get what she wants in life. Young lady, that's not the way I do things. But I've never really understood some of the things she wants. Um, hey, uh, can I put you on hold for a second, Bob? Is this what you're looking for? Well, uh, one yeah. thing in particular. Thanks. Oh, um, could you just check the sources on this column here? Sure thing. No, this hasn't changed that much from four months ago. Do you just want me to check this against that? Yeah, that sounds good, John. Sorry, Rick. Hi, right, Bob. I'm back. How are you? Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to have to call you back. Sorry about that. Thanks. Jerome, hey, how are your customers treating you? Pretty good. How about yourself? The same. Tom and I from accounting are going to lunch. You eating? Sure. Uh, can we wait for Mia? Uh, Mia's busy right now with Bill. Come on. Bill, I understand you don't like me making conditions like this. But if Jerome cannot at least keep his job, I'm not sure I can stay here. Does he even know you're doing this? Sit down. Yes, please try to talk some sense into her. I like Jerome well enough. It's it's just that he's not producing the way I need, and and I think you know that. He's a good service person. All his customers rely on him, and he's an asset, Bill. I have ten other Jeromes in the field, and, and counting you, I've got thirteen. <sighs> Tell me why I, I should give a damn whether you leave. Gosh, Bill, because apparently I'm equal to three men because I sell the highest margin products, or because our top customers seem to really like me, as you know. Like I said, Mia's always been able to get what she wants. Manners. This is gonna be a short meeting. I just wanted you all to know that this has been a banner year with uh, most all of you uh, exceeding expectations. Uh, um, I want you to keep up the good work and uh, the right attitude. We, uh, we might all have jobs next year. Does anyone have anything else? Well, actually, Bill, I think we need to get out more information about our latest systems. Now, we don't have to spend a fortune on advertising, but I think that we should offer our anti-hacking software, you know, some local banks, really cheap. Our product will sell itself. You know, that's not a ridiculous idea. Mia, I, I want you to look into this and uh, get back with me on it for uh, next week, okay? I think Mia's father thinks I'm judgmental, but she's his daughter too. So I guess I just don't understand him either. Mia. You're doing really well at work. Everyone likes you. Rick especially, right? Bill loves you. You're out selling everyone and our new identity theft products. Even people at Global Tech like you. You're just doing really well. I know you're Superman and everything. I'm not Superman. Why don't you let someone fix that? No, this boat has been in my family for years. I'm not going to let someone just try to fix it. Oh, I should be honored you even keep it here, right? What about a break? Maybe I can try one of Mom's new recipes. Recipe. Maybe after you finish your work, young lady? She lets everyone call her young lady except me. <laughs> Mom, are you sure this is the exact recipe?
you know I hate to bad talk our competitors, but there is a reason they have to sell there so cheap. <clears throat> Manners. You've got to keep on top of your clients, Jerome. They'll love you for only as long as you're doing something for them. Yeah, right. Mia's been here for eight months and she knows that. If nothing else, she knows that. Are you letting him get away with that? I thought this was just going to be between you and me. Well, I thought Jerome should join us and sit in on the conversation. So, uh, what have we got? Yeah, I'm sure. Even Mia's cooking wouldn't have him this worried. If she's lucky, maybe he'll do her a favor and just go. Mia, nice job on the Kurt deal. Thanks. Too bad I'm not a cute young thing. I might have made that sale too. Hey, Rick. Huh. Well, here's a guy that knows what side his bread is buttered on. Mia, Global Tech's having a problem with their version 2.4, so I need you to get over there right away. Uh, wait a sec. Global Tech, that's my client. Maybe I should go? No, no, I want Mia on this. Uh, I'll find something else for you to do, so. At this point, uh, this meeting's going to end early, so, Rick, uh, I need you to speak with me for uh, about the uh, sense beams. Okay. Okay? All right. Their boss could have handled that differently. Well, at least he's taking it like a man. That's something. You know what Bill found for me to do while you were out with my client? You know, they asked about you. And I told them you would have been there if you could. They were not happy to be stuck with me. Yeah, that's why they kept you there all afternoon. Well. I filed. Filed what? John wasn't there, and Bill asked me to go do whatever was on his desk, and then he left. So I go to look at John's desk, and it was just filing. Nothing but filing. That wasn't the deal. Not the deal. Sometimes, young lady, you can be too smart. Wait, so how did you even know that he was planning to let me go? I talked to a secretary. You talked to... I shouldn't have done anything. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have talked to anybody. I just... Not like this. Hi. Hi. I, uh... found someone... might be able to fix this. <laughs> Okay. Do you want me to make dinner? I can make you something. Sure. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll email her a nice recipe. A real one this time. That was wrong, Bill. Filing? You didn't have to do that. So you want him to do something other than filing? Well, you're not the only one who wants things. I thought about it. It's, uh, it's obvious he means something to you. But this is your home. You can find a job anywhere. But I believe you need this company as much as this company needs you. We both know you're going to be taking over for me. So I don't think you're going anywhere. And what if I do? I started this company and I'm not going to have a little girl tell me to pull dead weight. Well, it's about time someone tells her no. It's just... Then I'm quitting too. No. He can't disrespect you and keep me as an employee. You love the company. That's just because I met you there. No, that's not why you love it. Like, you're probably the best employee. You have great ideas, you know the products very well, and you sell them. You'll be running that place before too long.
That company is a part of you. You'd hate me if you did it. So that's why I'm telling you, if you leave that company, I leave you. As I say, my daughter Mia is many things. Smart is right at the top of the list. 